Hi, welcome to my tutorials. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, how to import the data from your PC to MATLAB. It can be any kind of files. Uh, before which, uh, let us access the MATLAB. And I am using a, li uh, a free trial version uh, for which we need to provide the respective login details in order to log in. Uh, once we are going to log in, let us see the interface and what is the procedure that we can uh, upload these particular files from your PC. Before which, uh, let me open uh, my computer and you can see documents and there is a folder known as MATLAB. Once you inst when, you, when you install the MATLAB uh, software, MATLAB folder will be created. This is where we can uh, provide the respective uh, the files that we are going to store. This is the default folder where MATLAB information can be accessed. And uh, this is the MATLAB interface once I logged in. And if you can clearly observe in the address box, uh, you can see the folder path at C drive in documents in MATLAB. That is what I have opened for you. These are the three files present. Those, are those three files are shown on the left hand panel of the content folders. Now if we access the information of the source file, you can see I have three columns. The first uh, row is going to have the column headings and the rest of the part is going to be considered as the data path. And I want to upload this particular entire uh, three column data on Excel sheet, see sheet one uh, to my uh, MATLAB uh, software. And we can see the icon known as FX. If we click on this, uh, we can find all the respective MATLAB functions that are uh, coming with us. And here we wanted to import the data for which I'm uh, so click on data import and export. You can see all the what are the file formats it is going to support. And uh, click on uh, standard file formats. And we wanted to uh, upload data from the spreadsheets. So click on uh, spreadsheets. You have options like read data, write data. And I'm going to exp and I'm going to show you an example on read data and then as well as XLS read. So and if you click on the uh, XLS read and if you can, can see these are the different types of uh, where this is the syntax of the read table in the same manner as XLS read has uh, two other different types of syntaxes only to exhibit the numerical data and the other one is for the numerical text and as well as a uh, raw kind of the information. So let me take an example for you. Uh, this is uh, the statement that I have uh, written for the sick. You can see this is my variable which is going to hold the entire uh, data that I'm going to upload. And this is the file, this is the source file from which I'm going to get my information. And in this particular file, I'm going to read the information uh, from the sheet number one. So it is of type known as sheet. This is the information I'm going to press plus. Click on enter. And you can see all the information has been loaded into the data variable data. You can see in the workspace, if I double click on the workspace data variable, okay, you can see all the information has been successfully uploaded. So this is how you can use uh, uh, Excelus read. And other information, for example, you want to read only uh, name one and name two, which is going to be cell A to cell B. So I can add an extra thing known as ranges. I want to from A12, cell A12, B5. And you can see that only the first two columns of A12, B5 information has been uh, should stored into the respective table. So this is going to be a 4 by 2 matrix. So this is how we can use uh, read table information. I'm clearing the data. Let us uh, work with the same part uh, even with the other one known as XLS read. XLS read is a function which is going to read any type of file. Okay and uh, it is from the sheet number one and uh, these are the three variables which are going to store different types of information N num data is going to store only the numerical data 
cat data is going to be character data is going to be stored in this particular variable and all the character and, and as well as uh, numerical data is going to be stored in this particular variable so if I click on enter and you can see that number data is holding only the numerical part cat data is going to hold only the all the character type of information and the numerical will be replaced with spaces and coming to the mixed data has storing all the respective information so if I so if I type uh, mixed data so you can see only the the entire content of the respective table hope you understand uh, the two particular different types of formats that you can read the excel sheet for more information you can uh, even check the mathworks lab and you can search in the search box and you can try uh, get more information about the entire documentation hope this tutorial might have helped you thank you so much